What is going on guys? I just got back from vacation, or I guess the Cleetus and Cars event and then the hotel we stayed at. So finally back at the shop doing shop things like normal. So we're back on a normal schedule. This right here is lug nuts. And I have lug nuts because I happen to have some wheels. So let's go check them things out. Yeah. Those things are beautiful. All right, so let me grab these wheels right here. These will be the fronts, because the fronts have a little less sticky tires on them than the backs. Boy, this car is gonna look so goofy. It looks like, like a girl with a fat ass skirt from one of them cartoons. Like, yeah. what's it called? Damn, what's that cartoon called? Uh, anime? And this right here is a back. You can tell this is a way more aggressive tire, stickier and all that good stuff. These are also 11 wides where the fronts are 10 wides. They got a deep lip on them cause stance. Gavin's tightening the bolts on it right now, but it clears fine. They actually don't have any problems with rubbing so far by just putting them on. They don't rub any shock mounts or control arms or struts or anything like that. And they also clear the brakes too. So I'm already happy. This is pretty sweet. I should probably tell y'all, me, Harry and uh, Justin were talking the other day and and we came up with an idea and it'll be pretty cool and it involves the car not being red anymore okay moment of truth let's see what it looks like oh damn that looks sweet stancy boy that's gonna be an ultra stancy boy it looks ugly with the paint but I, i'm so I freaking don't happy it really does i'm like, kind of with harry i kind of like how it looks for some reason that the contrast of it just makes it kind of good cool. yeah just because it's something what does this remind me of? This reminds me of something. What's the girl from uh, Suicide Squad? All right, so I got my maiden voyage. I'm gonna test and see if this thing rubs at full lock. Moment of truth. Yup, it rubs. But it just, it rubs just like the old one. It rubs the same as the old wheels. Same spot. It feels so much different. I'm gonna get a good one, two, three in real quick just to see what grip's looking like. Dr. Pepper. We do. We need a Dr. Pepper sponsorship. That's all I drink. I flipped my truck over and I was drinking Dr. Pepper. I just downshifted into first. Going, going 35. <laughs> yeah. That's about where first ends. Oh boy. My clutch is not happy right now. All right, you ready? I'm about to downshift it into first. Going 35. I gotta slow down to 35. Actually, I'm gonna put my blinker on. I'm gonna make it look like I'm getting off or I'm not actually getting off. All right, there we go. Ready? this look at that you see it i don't know either way i'll figure it out that's nice that's very nice my car freaking just does stuff but either way i guarantee you it looks good while it's doing it and the shifter itself is also loose that's why i got new stuff the whole damn thing itself is loose all right guys so i just got that installed check that out this thing looks really freaking good so now it looks like an original front valence right here no longer cracked up and stupid finally looks good but what's really making me happy is this this looks freaking great right here still getting used to that whole blue and red match deal but man it just looks so good with the stance that it has if you can see it's super flush even up front it is perfect i mean it is freaking sweet i've been getting way too comfy around you lazy couch potatoes talking circles around my questions because you don't know how to say no bunch of lamos bunch of lemons boy you don't know how to work got your feet up on your desk i got my boots on. all right guys so my tractor mustang looks pretty good which is kind of funny i used to call his mustang the tractor mustang yeah yours is low now so mine is now the tractor mustang so look at that wheel gap right there it's like a monster truck i kind of like it because my truck was lifted but I think I'll eventually just put some lowering springs or something like that on there. Red and blue looks kind of goofy right now. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look great. It could look a lot better. Like I said before, I have a lot of different ideas on what I'm going to do with that. But until then, I want to talk to the truckers since I'm riding a big old lifted car. So I got me a CB radio and a whole antenna. CB radios are easy. Literally like uno, dos, tres. So you got to get your 12 volt. So my 12 volts in. All right, we're already connected. Oh, shnikes. I got to connect my antenna. Don't mess, don't mess with the CB radio without an antenna because you might blow it up. And that actually goes for everything. Don't plug in a radio without an antenna. Don't plug in anything without an antenna because like walkie talkies and all that stuff, it'll burn them up. That works. So now let's go in here, connect my antenna. All right, so I got my CB radio right here. This is the talkie thing where I basically go, hello, 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 and typically get a response, but I'm not close to any trucks right now. I'll have to pull into a truck stop. And once I pull into the truck stop, I'll be able to use this here CB. This wire right here is routed just like so. Just put it right on the side here. Perfect. 
All right, now I got a CB radio on the old Mustang. I dig it. Hola, my name is Paul, and this is my bike. So, when I was at the track, I was spinning like a mug, dude. I was freaking shifting, freaking. That's what it sounded like in every gear. So I got this new clutch right here. I'm gonna slap this bad baby inside of that bad baby. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six spring, six bolt, hold on, clutch cover. There's a gasket right there. All right, that oil is dirty, very dirty. All right, so let's keep on going. All right, so I'm gonna take this clutch carrier, clutch pressure plate, clutch fucking piece of shit, clutch asshole muncher, clutch motherfucker. Oh, you can't cuss in videos, remember? Oh man, sorry. All right. So let's check out this clutch. Um, it is pretty bad. It's actually not that bad, but it's not the best. Definitely needs to be replaced because of the way it was acting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I need to pull this last disc out. Be very careful not to mess up this needle bearing. That would be bad. All right, so this last plate in here is looking like that. Well, this isn't the last plate. There's actually a few more. All right, so here's this, here that is. Now there's another plate. And another pressure plate. You need to use this pick right here to pull that out. So hold that on that side. Now I can pull it all the way out. Again, this clutch is hey. definitely burnt up. And what I'm doing now is installing the new pressure plates and friction plates. You can see these ones have a little bit of texture on them, so it'll grab a lot better than before. This also indeed is a wet clutch, so it's gonna act a little bit different. So you're gonna put in one of these guys with the friction thing on them. Then you're gonna put in one of these guys. And it's a process that goes just like that from there on. All right, so just like that, just keep on going until all of them are in. Okay, let me make sure I'm recording. I record. Okay, so what I need to do is do this, and I'm just gonna run a nice little bead of this Permatex Shazam all the way across this thing. Okay, so as you can see, there's a red thing of RTV all over that right there. So what I'm gonna do is make sure this side is up and the Honda side goes up. Then I'm gonna grab this bolt, this bolt, or this bolt, and this bolt. And Oh, shnikes, that was no good. All right, I just need a few bolts. Bro, Crack Rock has taken over my channel, and I can't even work on it because it's not here. Same. I like the way you are. I love the way you are. It's a truck. It's a whole ass truck. It's a whole entire truck. What are those? These, these are my sandals. My, my sandals are nice for cheap price. <laughs> Where is my bolt? My bolt disappeared. Where the fuck is my bolt? My bolt went missing. Oh no, this is no bueno. I need my bolt. Holy f My bolt is missing. I have a bad idea. I really hope my idea is the baddest. All right, I thought it was in there for some reason, but it was not. Okay, and when tightening RTV, what you have to do is hand tighten in a star pattern and wait seven hours or something like that. And then as soon as you do that, you can tighten them all the way. You just gotta get that RTV a good, nice, solid bond. The other side of the bike now, or I actually just turned the bike around. I'm on the same side. But I'm gonna loosen this here 10, which is the oil drain line. I'm gonna open this right here. And that's for oil. The other side's for transmission fluid or for transmission oil, I guess. Now what I gotta do is switch these out and the oil filter is an eight. And typically you're supposed to take off that swing, the uh, skid plate, but I can do just fine without. All right, so the small one goes on the right, the big one goes on the left. I'm gonna pull that mug out real quick. All right, so there's the old filter. Oh boy, there's a spring in there. I don't remember which side which went where. Okay, this side and spring towards engine. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay, so what it does is it adds it to the uh, the dead gum. So now I got that one, that one, and that one. It's gonna sit like this, then this goes up here. That's another oil valley right there. So that sits normal. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this junk out. Use this here 10. And pull this mug out all the way. This is the oil drain on the very bottom of the block. Now it's draining real good. And I don't know why there is a positive lead connection on there, but apparently there is for some reason. I'm just going to accept that it's there and not even question it because with this bike, I just don't want to question some of the stuff that was done to it with pretty much every bike I've bought. All right, there's one eight, there's another eight. I'm taking off this chain guard and you might be asking why am I taking off this chain guard? And the reason is I am putting on a new seal right there because it's seal it's leaking from the uh, transmission right there. The counter shaft seal is broken so I need to fix that. And hopefully that's a 10, most likely a 12. This is a 12. I'm going to see if this impact will do it. Hopefully it will. No sir, it will not. So I got this 12 right here and I got to put it in gear. That bolt feels like it's going the wrong way. It's just tight as balls, maybe. I don't want to break it. 
That's my thing. Man, how do you get that thing off? So I got Harry's little snap-on deal. This thing does work, dog. Damn, that thing's legit. Hell yeah. All right, bet. Snap on for the win. So now I gotta pull this chain wheel off. All right, got it off. Oh boy. Oh, that was almost very bad. That kickstand was rolling. We gotta get this seal out because the seal's what's been leaking. Well, that didn't work. Typically this stuff just falls out. As far as I saw in the videos, it's not working like that. Oh, there we go. All right, there's one. So this piece goes in like that. This piece comes out all together. I need to get a puller for that, but I bet pliers might work too. Hello, I'm Lindsay Lohan. I have to put um, oil in this side. I don't even know how to put oil in it. How much oil do I put in this bike? I need to find out. All right, so I need to put 700 milliliters inside this thing. This is a thousand, so I need to bring it down to that 300 mark and I will be good. Probably gonna go a little bit past that 300 mark due to spillage and all that fun stuff, but I'm just gonna put some of this stuff in there, hopefully make it run good. Oh, we have barely even scratched the surface. We've only used 300 oh, was it there? oh i'm full i'm full of oil on. all right so the bike is now cleaned up everything's good seals replaced all the oil is drained as well as right here those are just hand tight what i need to do is come back in the morning when this rtv is dry then i can put my transmission fluid in and then my oil in right here and then i'll be able to ride the bike and it will perform like a new bike so we're going to take it to the track see what it actually runs now that the clutch isn't slipping and hopefully it performs like a new bike because that would be awesome if it does. All right, so my new edge right here looks like a little RC car with my little antenna, which I think is kind of funny. But look at the wing on this one. This man bought a mattress, but he doesn't have a truck and he's got tons of stuff in the back because we're waiting to move in. So he's taking his mattress and hooking that mug straight to the spoiler. Yeah, it'll hold. All right, so they say it's on there tight. Let's check it now. Look at that freaking spoiler. Hey, can you can you give me some? Oh. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Ain't going nowhere. <laughs> It ain't over the hood traction bars, but bro. That's for all the rigidity. This is my new. It's solid inch, mounted. My 10 inch wing. Daniel talked me into doing autocross. Uh, yeah, so follow Zorby. One made out of 10, 10, uh, 10 inch wing. Yeah, and it's 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 lightweight. That's why it's made out of gel memory foam. What, what brand is it? Uh, Lucid, because uh, they don't sell them. You can only get them in your dreams. But I got one. It's gonna be the first thing to hit, obviously, because you can see like the uh, the height advantage here is definitely over the car. So it's gonna be the first thing to hit if I ever roll the car. Oh, nice. So you added added protection on rolls. It looks it looks like a whole ass stock car in this picture. Yeah. Bro, what? Look at this. It's like a little funny car. car. Yeah, like a <laughs> big ass Mitsubishi wing. Anyway, guys, he's gonna go do that. I just fixed the little things, did some stuff to the car, had some little fun, and bike's now good to go. All I gotta do is put fluids in it. Car is good to go. All I gotta do is lower it. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a freaking great day. Remember, it's a freaking Sunday. Okay, thank you. Let's go to Sunday. <laughs> Bye. Wait. Um. <laughs> Traction control. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.